making life better. It's what Arizona's bioscience industry is about, and why the road from discovery to development to delivery is so important for her future and for ours. We are Arizona's bioscience industry. We are AZ Bio. So when we talk about making life better, when we look at what we do, okay, I spent, as many of you know, over 20 years in the technology industry. And it was fabulous to grow companies all around the world. And it was terrific to see technology that today enables, quite frankly, the amazing things that is done, are done at Medtronic or at Ulthera or at other companies that we have in our industry. But most of us didn't go into this industry thinking, you know what, I'm gonna go work in that industry because I'm gonna make a lot of money. Now don't get me wrong, there is nothing wrong with making a lot of money as long as you deliver value for what you get paid for. But that's not why we do it. We are an industry that is committed to making life better for our family, for our loved ones, for our fellow employees, for the person that we've never met. And we do it through science, we do it through talent, we do it through teamwork. And for many of us, I'll never forget the first time that I had an opportunity to go to Pfizer. And I was um, touring the labs, and there was a gentleman there who was one of the original members of the Lipitor team. And he said, and I was like shocked. You know, I was like, oh, that's really cool. He said, yeah, you know, I'm the only person who started on that project that was still here when it finished. That's how hard it can be. But it's so amazing when it happens. And the people in this room are making it happen. But until you see how that happens, how that innovation, how that teamwork, how that new technology changes the life of a patient, you really don't get it. Now, when I first started at AZ Bio, Syncardia Systems was our very first bioscience company of the year. And I really got to know their team. And, I'm, and I got to know some of their patients and what was going on with them and what their journey looked like. And so tonight, I thought that it would be kind of cool if we let you see part of the journey. Clay, would you roll that for me, please? So I know we just finished dinner, but you're about to see a real, live, total artificial heart in a person. And so this is the actual, one of the actual surgeries where we take out a human heart, we replace it with a mechanical heart. And we do that because patients that are waiting for a heart transplant very often get sicker and sicker and sicker before they get healthier. But look, this is a patient with a total artificial heart that's participating in Pat's run. Guys, they call him the Tin Man. And he has done amazing things. But more importantly, after he got his transplant, he did it again. That's making life better. That's making an incredible difference when you live with passion. Now, you guys see me a lot, and you've heard me talk a lot. So I thought it would be kind of cool if you got to meet the Tin Man. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Randy Shepard. Thank you. Thank you. 
if it was. Podium's yours. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Randy Shepard, and I am here tonight because of company that you know as Syncardia, and I know them as my friends. Uh, there's so many people that make up that company that I got to know. I have gotten to know on a personal basis. Um, the theme of, the, of tonight is making life better. And when I think about, been thinking about for the last few days about this, what what does living life better, making life better mean in this context? And I think about the days leading up to when I to receiving the artificial heart, how tired I was all the time. I could barely make it from my bed to the bathroom and back. I think about the days that I was just, I was so tired of being tired. I couldn't see an end to it. All I could see was, if this is the way life is going to be, then my life's not going to be too much longer. And because of the, the great people at Syncardia, because of the, that biotechnology, I'm standing here in front of you today. Um, it's, there, there's not enough I can say about how grateful I am to them as a company and how grateful I am to each of the, the people who work there. And I'd, I'd also like to recognize my wife, Tiffany. She pretty much carried me through. Yes, please. She carried me through a lot of the ordeal go, that I went through when, when my heart failed. Um, and it's, I just passed my year mark. Uh, two weeks ago, I passed my one year mark with my donor heart. And thank you. <laughs> So I guess the message that I would like to convey about living life better is making, first of all, you have to be able to live your life to make it better. And for everybody here who has been through something with your health, some major health ca ca catastrophic event, you're, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, you know, thank, thank God above that you haven't. But the time will come in most people's lives where they face something like that. And I guess what I would like to say is don't wait for, the, for that time to make the decision in your life that you're going to do things better, that you're going to live your life the way you want to live it. As you saw that, that I ran the Pats run, well, before I was sick, I had the opportunity several times to run the Pats run. My wife had run it. Uh, my best friend had run it a couple of times, and I always thought, yeah, there will come other times. You know, there will be another time. I'm, I'm too busy or just don't feel like it. You know, I'd never run a distance race. I'd never done, I'd never even run the 5K turkey trot because I just always thought there'll be another time. I got other things to do. And when I was faced with that real possibility of there won't be another time, there won't be other opportunities to do things like this, uh, faced with the real opportunity that I might not see my children grow up, who they're here tonight as well. But giving that, being given that second chance at life, um, it's, it's something that it's given me a whole different perspective. And I'm kind of sorry that it took this to get that perspective, but I really don't know any other way that, that I could have attained that uh, other than going through what I've been through. And again, I want to thank my wife. I want to thank Syncardia, the, those members who are here tonight and those who are, who are not in attendance tonight. And I want to thank each of you tonight for your, your, your dedication to the AZ bio. And... Uh, it all starts with these young students that we have. And that's, uh, that's where the, the next generation is coming from and the next generation of technology. And I just want to say thank you to each of you tonight. If you can save one life, you can change the world. Imagine the number of lives that are impacted every day thanks to the people in this room. From the bottom of our heart, Randy, thank you for being here. And on behalf of patients everywhere, in every area, thank you all for making life better. 